full-size mirror also is a bonus makes me happy every single time i think my wings are uneven but sorry it's just so pretty what's up everyone and welcome to today's video if you are new here welcome and if you've been here before welcome back my name is manders and this is my channel I talk about a lot of things here mostly makeup and skincare sometimes nail polish sometimes we project pan or maybe we will unbox something but I almost always drop something. So if you're interested in any of those things, please stick around, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. So today we are doing an eyeshadow palette review. We will be reviewing the Opal palette. This is the October birthstone palette from BH Cosmetics. Every year during the, every month during the year of 2021, they have released a birthstone palette and this is the one for October. It's very pretty. It's giving it, it's very pastel like, I like it. It will be the first time I've ever used it. There is always, the, it is a seven pan palette. The largest pan is always the birthstone shade. And then it comes with a variety of matte shades, shimmer shades, and always one pressed glitter. Full size mirror also is a bonus. Makes me happy every single time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to swatch these on my arm and then we're going to get right into the look. All right, so that is them swatched right there. They swatched very easily. These, I have all of these palettes. I will leave the playlist link down below. I have two more that I need to film before the December one gets here, so wish me luck. You might only see these palettes for the next few days, so I apologize. I am super stoked though to finally film with this one. I'm going to use my soft base eyeshadow base from AOA Studio. This is from Shop Masse. Where's my mirror? Oh, you know what? I forgot my mirror, but that's okay because the palette has a mirror. Thank goodness. Story of my life. I think I spend at least an hour of my day looking for things. Anyone else do that? So just a little teeny tiny bit goes a long way with this. So just put a little bit on the back of my hand. It's way too much actually on the back of my hand, so. Hope everyone's doing well. I'm super excited because I'm actually like sitting down today and I'm gonna film like my no buy like for the next year. Like I'm getting myself prepared for that because I need to. This eyeshadow base is just super pigmented. It's like, it's just, to be honest, it's very similar to the AOA Studio concealer they have. But it's just very pigmented. It is a dollar US. I have a feeling I won't need to replace it because I have a feeling it's going to just last the rest of my life. Or at least a significant amount of time. So the first thing we're going to do is I am going to go in with this hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Hmm. I think I'm going to go with the blue first. So we're going to go with emotional. And what I want to do with that is I want to focus that on my inner corner. That is very pigmented. Not bad, not bad. And I'm just going in with a small brush because I really want to take my time. I'm just kind of getting back into filming again. If you haven't been here before, like I kind of took a little bit of a break. I'm still uploading, but just not consistently. This is a beautiful eyeshadow though. Super easy, super pigmented. Holy shit. Well done, BH Cosmetics. I actually like love BH, BH Cosmetics. I, this is, like I said, I have all of these palettes. It is the month of December now, so I am waiting on that one. Okay, so that was, that's just, we're, it looks funny now because I'm not even close to being done. However, 
that was so easy very nice now I am going to go in with that shade positive which is the pink and I'm going to go in on another small brush and just blend that blue and pink together and just bring the pink down It's just so pretty. I like this a lot. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So just blending the pink and the blue together slightly. You can see that. Not like, not too much. Taking my time. And then I'm just bringing it around, all the way around. I love this. Just want to make sure everything is matching because I have a really bad habit of not making them match because I suck at that. My skills are lacking lately. Now I am going to go back in with that first shade, Emotional. Just make sure everything's blended. No weird lines or anything. I can't get over this blue like it all like yes please okay now I'm gonna go in with the shade faithful on a flat brush and I'm gonna pop that on my lower lash line it's subtle it's not as pigmented as the other two. I will definitely be playing around with that a little bit I'm more. I'm going to go with Big Heart now. And I'm going to put that, I'm going to focus that shade on my outer corner. back in with that shade positive just blend out those edges and now I'm going to go in with personable this one right here focus that on the inner corner just beautiful frosty minty green Now I am going to do a wing liner. I'm going to use my Essence 24 hour waterproof. I really like this liner. I think my wings are uneven, but Oops, sorry. A little teeny tiny bit of this glitter in the center of my lid. Just like the smallest amount. Just to give it a little pop. This is the Lash Caviar Laura Mercier Mascara. Amazing. I'm going to just toss on some Buxom Gloss. This is in the one Dolly. I'm so close to finishing this. Alrighty. Overall, the only thing I don't like about this look is my eyeliner because my eyeliner skills suck. Oh, hold on. We forgot opal. I wanted to pop that on the inner corner because it's just so freaking beautiful. So just do that real quick. Oh, that's a pretty one. Okay. I really do like this palette. I like palette. I like the color story. I like the color combination that I was able to create with this. I will continue to use these shadows. I may mix and match them with other palettes. Uh, 
but for the most part, pretty freaking excited about this. Please let me know in the comments below if you've tried this palette before and how you're doing. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me today and I can't wait to see you in my next one. Bye for now.